Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another vlog and I'm finally, finally done with my desk. Now, I'm not 100% done, it's like 90% there, but I thought I'd just show you guys what I've got so far. It's almost there, I'm just waiting for a few more things to come in and I'll tell you what that's going to be. So I just want to wind this up. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, go check that out. I link it up over here, uh, kind of showing you how this desk was made. And today I just want to show you the, the finished product. I've kind of finished doing up the studio over here. So I just want to share it with you guys. For my new desk setup, I wanted a three monitor setup because it really helps with productivity, especially for video editing. I can have a browser in one screen, I can have my timeline in another screen, and then I can have all my footage in one screen. So it's so much easier to look through all the footage. I get a much bigger timeline and a much bigger video editing space. So um, that's been awesome. I've been using that for the last couple of days and it's really made a huge difference in the way that I edit. I also didn't want to have any kind of cables showing. So if you see this whole desk looks like it's kind of floating in the air. So that I did by getting this three monitor mount, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's got extendable arms on the sides. So it kind of hides the cables as well as, you know, makes the screens look like they're floating. Gives me a lot more desk space as well. So you can see this whole space below the monitor is kind of empty. It's a lot of space on the desk that's actually saved. Another thing that I did was I also raised the height of the monitor, this wood piece over here. Now it's called the Sam D. By default, it comes with this bright color wood. So I used a wood dye on it to make it the same color as the desk so that it doesn't stand out too much. I think I got pretty close over there. It almost looks like the same color. Another thing that I noticed with the white desk arrangement is the speakers. Now that I have so much separation between the speakers, so if you can see the first speakers over here and the other ones right over here, that gives a lot bigger soundscape. So that was pretty interesting as well. I wasn't expecting uh, so much of a difference. You can actually hear the left and right channels. You get more of a stereo effect. In terms of cable management, I wanted to make sure that there was not a single wire visible in this whole desk. So everything's been nicely cable managed. Uh, most of the stuff is actually below the desk. Like it's at the back of the desk. There's a couple of power strips and there's a USB hub all stuck to the desk on the top over here at the back. All the cables for the monitors and all come behind the iMac and go down a channel over there. So that's uh, why I was able to get this uh, completely almost wireless kind of look to it, uh, which is something I really wanted to do. I didn't want to have any wires visible because then all the lighting stuff looks terrible. All the accessories on the desk are a white and silver theme. So I've got the Bose uh, QC25s as well, which I use uh, for sound editing. I think it just goes perfectly with the desk. These look so good uh, with the desk setup. It really pops with the, you know, maple kind of wood design over here and it's white and silver so it was perfect for the setup. I've got the wireless Mac keyboard and the trackpad. I used to edit a lot with the trackpad. One of the main reasons is because of the side scrolling so you can go between the timeline just by swiping. Some of the gestures just like zooming in to the timeline doing a few things was easier with the trackpad. When I was looking for a mouse to go with the setup I ended up buying this new Logitech MX Master 2S. Check this out guys this is such a freaking nice mouse. It's got so many buttons on it and a horizontal scroll wheel as well. So you can like, uh, you know, scrub horizontally as well as vertically at the same time. It's got all these custom buttons as well. There's one over here, there's two more over here. And then this whole thing over here is actually a gesture pad. So when you click on it and you do certain gestures like move the mouse up or down, it's actually doing stuff. It speeded up my workflow so much, I couldn't recommend it more. This is an amazing mouse. The other thing that I noticed is when you have three screens, the mouse kind of moves too slow to access all three screens. So this mouse is 4000 DPI. That means I get much more precise and faster scrolling across the three screens. So I think if you have a triple monitor setup, something like this is kind of a must. Now, the other thing that I got with the whole setup is the Alex drawers, uh, which you can see. These things are amazing. They've got so much space in them to keep all my stuff. A lot of the things that were in my cupboards have now moved over here for quick access and easy storage. There's so much extra space now to keep all my things and it, I think it looks great as well. So that was a big plus. The other things that I have on my desk, this is some of the gear that I had before. 
This over here is a SD card reader along with a USB hub. I've got my M Audio Mobile Pre USB over here. So this thing is kind of like an external sound card and that's connected to both these speakers. It's also got two inputs in case I want to connect my guitar or any kind of mic. I also have the Blue Yeti over here, which is now permanently set up. So you can see I've done all the cable management for this. So this is awesome if I want to do a voiceover or do some vocal recording, if I want to record my acoustic guitar. For all that, this Blue Yeti mic is going to be awesome. The other thing you might notice over here is this camera. This is the A6000. This is my B camera. And now it's permanently being mounted over there. One of the things that still hasn't arrived as yet with which I'm going to upgrade this desk, I'm going to have a friction arm over here. So usually it look like this, but I'll be able to pop it out and bring it on top over here and then film things on this countertop. That's like a two foot uh, kind of extension arm so you can move the camera, place it, tighten it and then change it to a top down angle or whatever you need. That's going to help me, you know, cut down a lot on production time. In fact, it's super easy now for me to record anything because um, I literally have OBS open over here. Now what I have to do is just turn on this camera and now I've got a permanent setup over here. So I just bring in this mic over here and I can just click start recording. And uh, this is the kind of image that you're gonna get. So I would probably have this light in the same place. I, I'd probably switch it around, but as you can see, it's super easy to record. This thing gets saved directly to my computer. I don't even have to move an SD card or anything. And now I can put this footage in my vlog. So this is something that I really wanted to do. It's just gonna cut down on the amount of time it takes for me to record things. Really happy with the setup. And then when we get the extension arm, I'll be able to adjust the angle a little more. Another thing that I did is I, I kind of redid the lighting for this desk. So I used to have the Philips Hue strip. But this time I decided to go with a cheaper LED strip because it's still Alexa compatible. So it doesn't really make a difference. And I was super happy with this. I'll leave a link to it in the Dubai Amazon store. I couldn't recommend it more, uh, you know, because it works really well. It's got a remote control as well. And it works with Alexa. So I can just say, Alexa, turn off the lights. So it's gonna turn off all the lighting at the back and across the whole room. Over 36 feet of it, so I could add a lot of it all over the table. The Philips Hue system is super expensive. All my other lights are Philips Hue. Now I'm kind of regretting the fact. So I actually fried one of my Philips Hue bulbs when I was uh, setting up this lamp over here. I got a Yi light for this lamp over here and that works amazingly well as well. So I would honestly recommend don't go for Philips Hue anymore. Get the Yi lights. They're good enough, especially if you use them with Alexa. I also got this tree in the background that you can see, and there's gonna be more stuff coming over there. I'm gonna probably add some lights on this thing, fairy lights, like really small lights. The blurry background is gonna look a little bit more crispy. So another uh, idea with this setup was to have multiple angles. So this is the first angle that you can see. Uh, the second angle was the one that I showed you from this camera over there. And the third angle is probably going to be this. This is what I used before, but now you can see instead of seeing the desk in the background, you kind of see the Alex drawers and the tree. So that looks a little bit more clean in my opinion. And um, yeah, it just looks a little bit more spacious in here. It definitely is more spacious in here. Third angle which I could possibly use is this one. What I did do is I added some uh, Philips Hue lights over here so I can change the color that's kind of coming over here right now. So if you see this light, if I just adjust it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So it's, it's showing a little bit more now. And uh, so you can see the light over here. I can control that. I can change the color. This is kind of going to be the set for the podcast, the Startup Hustle Middle East podcast. So the guest is going to sit over there and we talk from here usually. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, this corner over here. So I've got the bookshelf. Uh, I moved the books to the top row. This row is going to be for uh, like kind of heavier equipment. So I've got a slider in here. I've got the, the Zhiyun crane and then over here I've done all my cable management for all my charging stuff and then uh, I've got all my lenses and stuff and these scoops over here. This whole thing has worked out awesome and uh, I mounted my electric skateboard to the wall and I moved my MFP off the desk onto this thing so that it wouldn't look too cluttered. Also, also behind this over here, there's about half a foot of space. So I can keep my tripods over there, mic stands, things like that. So it stays out of the way and nobody can see it. 
but it's easily accessible if I need it. Oh, another thing that I did, all the devices in the room voice control. So even this big light over here is uh, voice controlled because uh, it doesn't actually have voice control, but I bought a smart plug for it, so it does it for me. So I can just say, uh, Alexa, turn off video light. So anyway guys, that's it for the video. I hope you like the studio tour. Uh, I'm super happy with the setup. I think it's given me a lot more space to work with and uh, it's just gonna improve my workflow a lot. So look forward to making more YouTube videos more quickly, hopefully. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think of the studio setup and make sure to subscribe to watch more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.